Hey guys, thanks for clicking play again. Well, I'm on another great property tour today and what a beautiful spring this has been. Actually, it's middle winter, but it feels like spring. I'm out walking around on another property and I'm gonna show you a couple videos or maybe some pictures of this property, but it's one of those diverse properties I like to come to. It's got building sites, it's got multiple site access, some flat building spots, there's a lake, there's some tillable ground. A lot going on here. It's fun to show these properties. I hope you guys enjoy the short videos that I put up and give me a call. Hey, if you're looking for a piece of land in Northwest Wisconsin, I wanna be your guy in the land business. Let's go. For a lot of the property that I go into, I get a lot of questions like, is it buildable? Well, what does buildable mean? Usually when I'm referring to a property that's buildable, I'm gonna say, yeah, it has some uh, flat building sites. Uh, there's utilities nearby. But anytime I say buildable or probably any other agent after, uh, besides me, you gotta do your little research. You gotta call the township. You wanna start with them. What's the requirements to build? What do you allow us to build? Will you, we, can we put a mobile home on it or a camper? Or can, do we have to build stick buildings? So there's a lot of, you know, it depends when it goes into, is a property buildable? So I'm walking on this property and I'm coming into an area like this. There's, there's some dry areas and then there's some wetter areas that are lowland. A lot of habitat mix. I personally like that, especially if you're hunting and you're looking for a hunting property, this is what you wanna see. Diversity and edge is always key. So I'm going to take you guys through this property. I'm just going to show you a couple scenes as we go through. But here's the wetter area. As I can see from the aerial photos that I eventually, if I get this property listed, I'll show you. I can see these little pockets of wetland. And I wanted to get inside here and actually see how wet it is. Well, I look at the vegetation. Here I'm looking at tag alders. But it's not swampy wet. So there's definitely a lot of possibility when it comes to bedding area for deer. So here's a nice trail look at that right there. That's pretty damn good. So these deer are definitely down in here, little pockets of wetland. And then over there, I see a little bit more wetland and I'm gonna work my way to the pond. So diversity is key. This property has it. All right, well, I just busted through a swamp and a bunch of brush and I was able to come out here and find this. This is a pretty sizable cornfield. Corn soybean rotation as usual, but you know, the owner thinks this might be a decent place to build a home on because there's a lake over on the end of that field. Way over there, we're going there next. I get so many calls from people saying, hey, I'm looking for a affordable piece of land that we can build a hobby farm and they're hard to come by frankly and when i come out to some properties i see man there's gonna be a lot of work here you're gonna have to clean it up sometimes there's old barns and everything and trees you got to remove if you want to have pastures but, but this property does not have that big open fields like this i see places like this and i'm thinking you know a guy could come out here and build a house up on the front here i'm gonna show you an area here that maybe can be buildable or actually i already have and uh and then maybe come back here and plant Christmas trees or do corn and soybean or pasture some and bring your horses up here. Lots of opportunity. This property has it. It's all cleared out. Literally bring your builder in, dig your foundation, pour a slab, whatever you're gonna do and start building. This property definitely has a lot of possibilities. Okay, well, I'm almost done with the tour here. I got out to the road here and I do see that there's a, a house right across the street here. And that means there's utilities. They got power lines going here. I saw it, I believe it was a telephone uh, pedestal. So there's definitely utilities around here. One thing I get asked a lot from people that are like, want to move out in this, from the cities out here is, is there internet? Well, just a couple of years ago, they did bring internet into this region. And I know I got it because my farm's just a couple of miles south of here. And um, they brought it out here. So there is high speed internet and it's fantastic. You don't have to live in the city anymore. You can come out here and you can work and a lot of people will live out here for a week at a time. Maybe the husband's traveling, stay out here, create a life, come back to the quiet. It's perfect. It's just perfect. And another thing out here, see how this road frontage and it goes all the way the length. My truck is way down here and comes all the way past the, the uh, pond and then the ends down about where that my finger is. All this is subdividable potentially. So you'd want to call the township and say, hey, I'd like to subdivide this off into five acre 
parcels and definitely this could be a possibility now a lot of times when you're doing that you're gonna get a little grief from the neighbors because they don't like that and honestly i don't sell a lot of land to you neighbors that are watching this to people that do that but if a guy is buying this maybe someday down the road after he's had his hobby farm he decides to subdivide it for his kids man this definitely has a potential Okay, well, here we are to the lake, and this is one of these, I think it's unnamed. Um, the owner tells me, believe it or not, out in the middle, right where that lighter uh, ice is, is 20 feet deep, 25 feet deep, so who knows, there might be some fish in here. Probably not a lot of fish, panfish and crappies possibly, and I think what I'd do if I was owning this is I'd probably put a aerator out there and keep it open, make sure that it, um, that it stays uh, you know, aerated and the, and the fish live. Um, this is what I get to do every day, guys, and I'm on another property tour just looking around. I'll let you know if I bring it to market. Hey, but if you're looking for a property and you're in western Wisconsin, or frankly, you're anywhere, and you want to come to western Wisconsin, we got some of the most beautiful land uh, possible, and it's still at a great price. You can come out here and build your home. This might be one of them. This is about 75 acres, tillable ground, high, dry, kind of, I'm going to call it pasture ground. Um, then you got the little pond and there's some building sites all around this. So a lot of possibilities. Uh, I want to be your guy in the land business. My partner, Nick Pronald and I would love to show you around. We'll find you a property. And if you follow us, you might even hear about these properties first before we bring them to market. We look at a lot of land, not all of it's for sale. A lot of it becomes for sale. I'd like to be your guy in land business. I'm Neil Hogger and I'm a land specialist with Whitetail Properties Real Estate. Thanks for watching. I don't know if we should go too far out here, Lucy might fall in.